Hi, I'm Craig Jones with Groggy Dog Sportswear. We get asked all the time, can I just print one or two t-shirts? And with screen printing, you really can't do that. So our sales team here at Groggy Dog thought it'd be a good idea that we uh, maybe put a quick uh, video together for you guys to see the process of screen printing and what it all entails. So with the help of our college intern, Catherine, we decided that uh, we would go ahead and make this video for you. Hope you like it. There are four ways to begin your order process with Groggy Dog. Fill out an online questionnaire through our website, email us, call us on the phone, or come meet with us face to face at either our Denton or Louisville location. After our customer service representatives have received all of your information on what you would like to print, the process moves into the art development phase. Once the design is completed, we send the proof for customer approval. Don't like the initial design? No problem. Simply call us or email us and let us know what needs to be changed. It's as easy as that. Our film is separated by color and printed onto a clear, waterproof set of film. Examined for accuracy and then placed in a jacket along with a color printout of what the final print should look like. Once film leaves our art department, it is taken over to our dark room. During the screen preparation process, emulsion, a light sensitive liquid with a glue-like consistency is applied to the screen. When hardened by light exposure, the emulsion will prevent ink from going through the screen. Each piece of film is then taped to a separate screen. The image is then burned into the screen using a high voltage light source. The light hardens the exposed emulsion, leaving the area under the film soft enough to wash it out with water. As you can see, the image begins to appear in the screen as it is washed out. This will allow for the ink to pass through the screen. Tape is then applied along the edges of the screen to keep ink from leaking outside the screen area. While the screens are being prepared, another worker will count out the garments to be printed just to make sure that we have the accurate quantities. Next, machine operators load the tape screens on the automatic press. If the shirt color being printed is anything other than white, then a white underbase is applied, then flash dried. This assures that the shirt color will not show through the other colors being printed. Flood bars, squeegees, and ink are then loaded and a sample print is created so that the necessary modifications can be made. Once the design is correctly registered, the printing process begins. This particular design is a four color print plus an underbase because it is printing on a dark colored shirt. As you can see, each color is applied separately to make up the design. After being printed, the shirts are sent through a 320 to 330 degree heat chamber to be dried. The shirts are then recounted to make sure the shirt counts match the packing slip. After the shirts have been printed and the counts at the end of the dryer confirmed accurate, teardown begins. The flood bars, squeegees, and ink are removed from the printing machine. The tape is removed from the screens and they are placed in a solution to remove excess ink and break up emulsion. Once this is done, the screens are scrubbed clean so that they can be ready for the next order. 
We hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step process on how screen printing is done. Just remember, if you're printing three shirts or 30,000 shirts, the setup is still the same.